<laughs> record high check tied it in Albuquerque. New record for Farmington, Raton, Santa Fe, and Tucumcari yesterday. Look how many spots were up there around 70 degrees. It's almost 80 degrees in Tucumcari. Okay, skies are dry this morning. No rain, no mountain snow. One more quiet day with the super warm temperatures. We've got 30s and 40s for the most part out there. A couple spots west and north of the Albuquerque metro. We've dipped down into the 20s. Grants, you're the cold spot this morning at 20 degrees. Look at Angel Fire, almost at freezing right now. Seven mile per hour breezes. Santa Fe, Las Vegas, you've got winds around 15. They've calmed down at the Sunport, probably just temporarily early this morning. But there's a smidge of a wind chill factor, especially up around Santa Fe. It feels like 28, feels like 11 in Grants. You'll want coats, jackets to get the day started. Pretty routine stuff here for a February morning. But I'll tell you what, the afternoon, we're going to see this cold front pass by off to our north. More of the super warm temperatures. Now, after this cold front gets into the Midwest, it's going to kick the cold cold air back at us. It's going to result in an east wind event, and that's also going to serve as kind of a moisture recharge. So today, a lot like yesterday, but this is our Wednesday. Look at these temperatures in the 40s and 50s invading northern and central New Mexico with the rain and mountain snow shower chances. Right now, we're thinking the mountain snow is going to be way up there, probably at the eight or 9,000 foot range, but there will be some accumulating snow, maybe a few inches falling for the east mountains, especially for the Manzanos and down into the Sacramentos. It's kind of a central New Mexico moisture event at this point, it looks like. Still, though, time to warm up to about 80 degrees in southeast New Mexico. Tomorrow we're expecting about 55 to 60 for a high, so a dramatic cool down awaits. 77 this afternoon in Alamogordo. And check out the numbers across the southwest. A couple warmer than yesterday in most spots. 76 TRC, and we'll be closer to 80 than 70 for most of the I-10 corridor. We've cooled off a couple here in northwestern New Mexico. We say cool off, but we're still getting on the plus side of 60 degrees, still way above average, but no more record setters. Uh, Cortez hit 60. We'll watch southwest Colorado for maybe just just an isolated high terrain shower, both rain and snow. North Central Mountains, winds to about 10 to 15 this afternoon. We'll still hit 60 in Santa Fe and get there in Los Alamos as well, closer to 70 for the Española Valley. And look at these numbers, 65 to 70 degrees with a 16 mile per hour late day breeze around Raton and Vegas. Moriarty almost at 70 and we're way into the 60s for Edgewood in the East Mountains. Here are the numbers for the Albuquerque Metro. Tying yesterday, 69. The record high of 72 is probably just out of reach, but we will see those low 70s along the valley floor. And Note tonight's lows only dipping down to about freezing in the cold spots. Otherwise, it's more the upper 30s. Here's a look at our 7-day forecast. It does turn breezy to windy for Wednesday. There will be a slight chance for rain showers. My car is all the way clean, so I can almost guarantee it's going to rain at some point in Albuquerque. But we're back to the dry skies by Thursday. And look at Friday, Saturday. We're warming right back into the 60s, looking like a pretty nice weekend for Valentine's. Todd, Marissa. Uh, more